We are here at CIC 2023. <laughs> Going to CS2, uh, we definitely had high hopes. I don't think we expected to gain back the number one position this fast. I think kind of a similar story to, to last year where uh, I joined the team and I think we had instant success off the bat. I think we've all worked hard for this moment and we deserve it. So wrapping up CSGO and moving on to the new game, um, I had a good feeling about us being a, a top team in the new game, especially in the beginning, just because I feel like teams that are have stayed longer together have way better chemistry in the new game, and there's a lot of teams who have made changes instantly. And yeah, in Sydney was uh, just a test to see if it was, you know, if the theory was right. And yeah, we won. It was a great feeling to win the first CS2 event. I mean, that's a big thing, you know, it's as part of history forever. I remember when NIP won the first CSGO event, so it's still, that's for sure cemented in history. Moving on from Sydney, uh, four days later, we had an online Thunder Pick event. Um, which one could say it would actually be tougher than, than Sydney. The teams were, were a bit better uh, online and obviously those teams have the chance to look at Sydney and prepare. So winning uh, an online event with a bunch of top teams in it from all over the world is, is nice. And um, I mean, we failed to do that last year when we played Rubik Cup. So <laughs> it's nice to, to uh, have that you know, kind of achievement together as a team. Yeah, I have been in China before, uh, 2019 in Beijing. I went to grade 12 China, it was very nice. It's been a pleasure to be here the second time. I have been to China once and that was this exact tournament, uh, I think four years ago. And I ended up winning that tournament, so I'm here as a reigning champion, I guess. And um, yeah, excited to have a chance to win it again. Well, I think the previous one we were here, I lost 16-0 and 16-2 to Australia in a best of three. So a uh, pretty rough experience in China so far. The only continent that CSGO has been in, or CS has been in, that I haven't won a tournament yet. So uh, looking forward to maybe raising a trophy here. I haven't had much experience with Chinese language. Um, I think one thing which everyone knows is just Ni Hao. And then I think this event, I had to learn how to say no in Chinese, which is I think Bu because there's so many fans, especially in the hotel, you know, we, we kind of need some privacy and we try to sign as many fans and get some as many photos as possible. The reception we got from the fans there is pretty crazy. It's something um, we haven't experienced before. Uh, feels like a kind of a rock, rock star in a way. It's a cool experience for a couple of days and then maybe it gets a little bit tiring. All right, boys. Guys, go. Let's uh, be ready from the beginning here, okay? It's first of one. You know, like we need to be ready and then play with balls from the beginning. Everybody knows the things uh, we have practiced lately, okay? We have a good engine, we just need to believe all the time. Even if it starts bad, so let's go fuck them, okay, boys? Nice, I like nice that. on three. Let's nice go. On three. Back into a four versus three now. S tag, the next to go down, and they are dropping fast on that CT side. Rez and Convict left alive, trying to fight their way back into a two versus two now. They've almost found the kill there on Twist, but running out of bullets. Knives are coming out. What, what? is happening? Guys? Why are they running back? I have no <laughs> idea what's going on, Henry. I think he's going to have much to work with here. That first kill, sure, but it's just no time. You can just count the four. And taken down eventually, Rob's the master of the clutch. Very late, what's happening? Maxter was shot, even if he's flashed, he does get the double kill. Bang through the Jaguar tunnel as well. Good shot, but traded immediately. Twist, oh, Ooh. he's gonna line them up. I'm carrying, and he wants to get there in time, but it's too late. The spray, oh. Oh. oh my god, he's found it. Oh my god, indeed. I think after the NIP at best of one game, playing like 50, 60 rounds of CS, like intense overtimes, back and forth, you know, everyone's getting so much energy that you're gonna eventually run out. Yeah, we had to like get a fast reset, 40 minutes, get ready for the next game against Maus. Um, I think people were trying to eat food and, you know, just get some rest because everyone was uh, extremely tired. Yeah, we had to find uh, some, some kind of uh, energy to win the match against Mouse. Hey boss, 
Yeah, it's a fucking long game, okay? We're gonna do everything we can now here to, to step up. Even if we have a slow start, a good start, let's just fully focus and close down the map. So good, let's not play six or five seconds. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, say that my brain, and blue screen. But no blue screen. <laughs> we fight, we, never, we didn't give up, okay? We need to push each other. If somebody's down, help each other, okay? Let's fucking good there, okay? I know I wasn't in the zone there, but anyway, let's just fucking go in there and smack them now, okay? Let's so, fucking do this, boys. So, they're the second best team. They're breathing down on legs. Let's fucking send them back to uh, number four, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one! Nice! Damage, that is not the case, and uh, seems to be as well. Oh, no, they've done it. <laughs> Impressive, isn't it? Green taking oh. a bit of damage. There we go. And back here, trying to do it again. It's twist instead with the Tech Nine and throws under a lot of trouble. Oh, the run the Gordon and go through it. Jim Fab more than ready to mow them down. And there it is. It will be Mouse Sports getting it over the line there in the second half after a 9 3 showing. Mouse Sports and fast pace towards the squeaky door. Phase busted open, but Exertion will take one down with a drop down towards the vent. So looking for that quick plant here. You know exactly where he is. Even if he finds his frag, the defuse is coming in. There's nothing he can do about it. Open wide. Rob's in a strong position oh here. My God. And spotting the shadows i think they've done enough right here right now he might be able to do it but no rob shuts it down a trade going on there Harrigan, good on the defense rob showing up on the high ground twist is pretty decent it's a one versus two and rain will take the last kill it is a third map coming up on overpass henry able to make it out the duelies are going to be up for the test next <laughs> oh my god all right he's again so good he's just absolutely making it work now so poised to tie things up eight to eight Great shot from Carrigan. That's more like what? it. Let's get it over the line here. Gets the first kill, looking for the corner. Enough to win the round. The kit's been picked up, and Carrigan gets it across the line. Done with, and he's boxed in. And they're slowly ah! playing, and there's the shot from Carrigan. It's only fitting that he would get the final kill as FaZe will claim the series over Mouse in a 2 1 fashion. Now, this tournament is a little bit unusual. We had uh, one match day so far. That was the whole group stage for us. We played two matches. Uh, our next opponent was Maust, and it was a pretty back and forth game. We lost the first map, I think, uh, and then we ended up beating them on the next two maps. So we won the best of three, and that makes us uh, go right through the semifinals. Uh, yeah, and it was a very long day, I think. I haven't had one of these days for a long time. Uh, you know, nowadays you have like one match per day. Sometimes you have two, but still like you don't have to be uh, so intense and it's not as back to back as it is sometimes. Uh, there was like no room to breathe uh, uh, during that day. My favorite moment of this event so far has been going with the team to Yu Garden. Yeah, we saw like a temple there. There was like a Buddha temple. It was a very quiet place. We didn't want to disturb the, the peace there. Um, encountered some fans, but in general, just walked around this kind of traditional area and saw this uh, this nice garden that uh, a lot of people here say is, is really, really beautiful uh, place. And uh, even though it was raining, it was still like, pretty nice to, to walk around there and check everything out. And I think the second thing is, you know, just giving a lot of signatures, taking photos with the fans. These guys are crazy in China. There's so many people here that come to see the players and the tournament. So, yeah, I mean, I'm happy to have uh, fans behind us and support us. Just happy to also uh, give back to them. Today is semi-final day, uh, going into the, to the game versus Ants. Um, it's been a, while, a little while since we played them. I look forward to playing them again. And, um, last time it was a pretty good game for us, and hopefully we can replicate it today. Uh, considering we're the best team at the moment, it's a bit more important to look at what we're doing as a team and our common tendencies and stuff rather than look at what the opponent is doing uh, because there's a bigger sample size for us than for them. And that's going to be the same if we go into the final. Snappy does his best to delay, and that defuse is happening around the corner. Robs needs to get there, and he's not getting there in time. And Nurts will defend Damn. the defuse of Flash. Through the avenue of Hutt, Snappy's down. Now a 1v1. Carrigan against Nurts, and Carrigan's done it! He's absolutely done it! He's kept him.
I'm in this. this is the one that's done it. Twist in the clutch, doing his best, but there's no hero play this time. There's no way back in this time. And it's Ents that win the first map eventually. Gets the blind side. Some players can't get it. If Rob just covers him off, that defuse is through, and Rob's will certainly cover him off. Just before the smoke goes up at his face, and Rain and Twist are shutting this down. No problem for FaZe. No problem for Twist and Rain. Gladden's kill on Twists. Nerds comes on out, but it's Carrigan to close. And FaZe and Ents. This is becoming the El Clasico of Counter-Strike. Has no room no. to work with. He's still got one. Chance to take down Robs and give them the ace. You better worship the Sun God. <laughs> Here he is, Sun Pius. Here comes the utility. Here comes the final move. And they haven't detected Robs. And Robs is relentless. In the last two matchups, it's FaZe Clan that have come up on top. Who better to close it than Carrigan, leading his team to yet another grand final. This could be another title. This could be another CS2 trophy going in FaZe's cabinet. We have been on a winning streak, having really good maps like Ancient and Nubis and, and Nuke, uh, which we lost unfortunately today. But in the end, we are grinding the most. We have the right mentality. We have a fantastic chemistry. And I think it just shows no matter the situation, no matter circumstances, I think we have always been known as adapting. And that's why we can adapt to new game, adapt to seven map pool. It's unbelievable. I'm just enjoying the moment. And, and it's not what I expected when CS2 came out, uh, even though we put a lot of time and also sacrificed a lot the last few months to, to get where we are right now. I know it's been a long day, okay? But yeah. as you see that when we are down, we can easily come back. We need to have the same mentality the whole game here, okay? It might be a rough start, it might be a good start for the podcast. We need to, the end result matters, okay? Yeah. So when we give power, give it everything we have now, okay? And if we have no energy left in equipment, that's how it is. But we need to step up with energy from day, from day one, I want to say, from fucking round one, okay? <laughs> Play our fucking game, and let's fucking give everything we have. Let's yeah. go, boys. Yeah. Nice. Let's go. Start right here. Yeah. Let's let's make this world legendary. Okay. Uh, Three, two, one. Hundred thousand dollars. As FaZe look for their second trophy to add to the cabinet this year, it's an absolute massacre to kick things off. And there's nothing but USB headshots coming through, and only FaZe have locked this one in. Yeah, my. But they have found a kill towards Brokey as well, and we are going to force the issue. Robs. He's been an absolute madman so far today, and is now. I guess beg the question: Do you feel like Good shot on the first one there? He's down to half health, some grenades are coming in and they're feeling really uncomfortable. They're almost standing on top of him. Jimmy, how much have you got? One more headshot! Well, Rain is there to take care of business. They put him out of it, out to one versus one. 18 seconds on the clock and Rain, rather than planting the bomb, he's hunting for it. Oh, Sidney almost gave it up! <laughs> but he's gonna find oh, more it. to work with here, but he's been found out already. And there's the kill for Twist. 13 to seven, phase to pick up the opening map of the grand final. Look at this exertion, just being shot in the toes. <laughs> they actually saw him, Brokey. That's a great pickoff. Still a chance here to bring it back now. Four versus three. Torsi going to pick up the headshot. Oh. Spotted out there. The bomb is coming up into the yard, and it's dropped on the ground with only 20 seconds rain. Multiple frags from here, Anders. Good to get the one. But now you're out in the open, surrounded by T's. And he's done very well indeed. This is more like it from Robs. Steals away the hat trick. Five versus one here. Solid ramp hold and a clean sweep for FaZe. They know exactly no where he's coming from. This is a spectacular, a vintage FaZe performance. Hunting through it, and they go down. It's FaZe, the kings of combat, Henry. They've done it. They won the whole championship. Shanghai, make some noise for your Counter Strike Asia Championship 2023 champions. My initial feeling is like, this is awesome. I mean, um, what a long day. Uh, we played two playing days and both of them have been super long. So happy to see this comeback mentality, never giving up, just playing next round, next round. And we showcased that today, but uh, I'm just overwhelmed with feelings that I didn't imagine CIS2 coming out and we just on a win streak and winning three tournaments, one of them online, but basically won every single Thai one event so far in CIS2. Thank you for all the crazy fans, especially here in uh, Shanghai, this tournament has been uh, it's been a long time coming to have a tournament in Asia. It's been four years ago uh, since last, and we won that in uh, back in uh, Mouse, me and Robin. 
but coming here and seeing all the face fans and taking good care of the, the guys and and really shows how much you guys love CS and I'm super happy you guys got the major um, um, yeah next year right so um, I just want to say thank you to everyone who is subscribing to the channel and following us and uh, it's been a long time coming to win some trophies and yeah now we won two Taiwan trophies uh, in CS2 and we won a trophy in Cisco. so we are counting the trophies in the end of the year and right now we are three um, let's see if we can make it four maybe even five if we're happy guys so remember to phase up